Hi everyone, I'm back just one last time to show you a couple of different ways that you can save the work that you've been doing in your Canvas course. Um, some of you may have already done this, but I know some of you are waiting to make sure that everything is wrapped up before we begin. So a couple of things I wanna point out um, on your announcements uh, from AISD, they gave you a document right here that will help you, that will take you step by step and show you how to do these things. But in case you needed, um, it's gonna look like this, but in case you needed a visual of just step by step how to do it, I'm going to show you how to copy your Canvas course or how to share your Canvas course to the Commons. That way you will always have access to it and you might even consider working on it some during the summer. So. You're going to go into your course. And normally we can choose an assignment or a quiz or whatever and just import it uh, and share it to Commons and then we import it back. But to import your whole, to share your whole course to Commons, you're going to need to go into the settings right here on the left hand side of your screen. And now you'll see that your course is published, but the district is going to conclude that course uh, in just a few days. So if you want to keep it, there are a couple of ways you can do that. First, you can share it to Commons. And when you share it to the Commons, I've already shared mine, but if you share it to the Commons, you can just make it to only me. That way other teachers aren't going to take your whole course unless you want them to, of course. Um, but if you have things that are half finished or uh, maybe something that you want to change, you don't want other people to use just yet, you can choose only me. You're going to have to give it a description. And an image. And <clears throat> once you've done that, you're just gonna share it to the commons. And then now it's there, you can always go import it into a manually created course. Um, you can pick it up at the start of the school year or even at the start of next spring semester. Maybe you covered things that don't happen until the spring. But the other way that you can do that and still have it to work in maybe this summer as you're doing your professional development, you want to build something to put in your Canvas course. You can also, you're going to do the same thing, go to settings. You can also copy the course. So over here, you see all of these different choices. You don't have to conclude your course unless you created your course. Um, for most of us, the district created it, so they'll take care of concluding it but you can import course content, export course content. Um, <clears throat> you can also just make a copy of the course. And I, I would rename it because now it's a copy. So I might just rename it like Nasworth Sandbox. A lot of times we call it a sandbox because it's just a place where you're playing around, you're constructing, you're building, but no one is seeing it because only you and anyone you've given access to um, will have that. Um, and then you would set your end dates. I'm going to set my end date at the end of August just so that I have all summer to play around in it. I can choose specific content. If I don't want to do all of it, I can choose specific content, but I would just keep it all. And then I'm just going to create course. <clears throat> and it'll take a little while to do that, but eventually it's going to show up on your dashboard. So if you have any other questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to help.